Hi guys, it's Ben here, and could Liverpool's number eight jersey, made famous by Steven Gerrard, be about to be assigned to a new club record signing? So, former Liverpool striker Titi Kamara, of all people, has today said that Naby Keita has his heart set on a move to Liverpool, that Leipzig have been informed of his intentions and are looking for a replacement. Now, Kamara is Keita's compatriot, he's from Guinea. I'm not really sure why he'd lie about this sort of thing, it's just bizarre to see Titi Kamara linking players with moves to Liverpool. He said that if the deal does go through, that Keita wants a number nine shirt, which had everyone confused for a few minutes, only for him to correct himself in a follow up tweet saying he wants a number eight shirt. Now, if you're about to become Liverpool's all-time record signing, then I'm sure you're not gonna have any sort of lack of confidence. That's something that Kate has clearly not got. He wants to take on that number eight shirt that no one's worn since Gerard left. And I think everybody would agree that a player of his calibre would be fully deserving of wearing it. The odds have now come crashing in again. It's now one to five that Naby Keita is gonna become a Liverpool player this summer. That is huge. He's come right in. He was about two to one not so long ago. He came into six to four over the weekend. He did come into odds on, but now he's one to five, which pretty much means there's a five in six chance, according to the bookies, that this man becomes Liverpool's record signing. I asked you guys to come on my video yesterday saying whether you thought it was a good idea for the Reds to splash out so much on one player and it was pretty much unanimously yes you do want this player to become a Red and that looks like it may well happen. The situation remains the same he still needs to hold talks with his club to go over things and they may well try and convince him to stay but it may well be the time where they resign themselves to having lost the man that helped give them Champions League football for next season. Another man that's now 1-5 to five to join Liverpool the exact same odds as Naby Keita is Andrew Robertson of Hull. We all know Liverpool are after a left back this season if Marine does leave and it looks like once the Spaniard does depart Anfield that Robertson will be the man to fill his boots. Virgil van Dijk and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain are still targets of course but those remain odds against the bookies aren't so sure on where those two are going to end up. Just have a look at what some of the other clubs are doing in the Premier League. Everton have been busy this week they signed Sandro Ramirez on Monday and they followed that up with Michael Keane a £30 million deal for the Burnley centre-back that brings the Toffees total spending to nearly £100 million this summer. Looks like they do mean business under Ronald Koeman. Whether Keane is worth that sort of money I don't know let me know in the comments whether you think Liverpool maybe should have gone in for him. He's around half the price that Virgil van Dijk's likely to be. Could we maybe have gone in for Keane and then gone for a better left back? You tell me. Also Arsenal look like they're having an interesting summer. Alexander Lacazette, a man that I wanted Liverpool to go for, looks like he's set for the Emirates. A club record deal for the Gunners is going to bring the French striker to North London. I don't think anybody can really call this one a bad signing. He's a guaranteed goal scorer. He's got lots of pace. He's a natural finisher. Someone that I can really see fitting in well in that Arsenal team, especially if they can keep Meza Ozil and Alexis Sanchez behind him. There's so much creativity in that attack if that is the case. There's also various reports suggesting that Riyad Mahrez of Leicester could be heading to Arsenal too. Calcio Mercato in Italy are actually saying that the deal is done and the announcement will be soon. Again, it seems like a perfectly natural fit for Arsenal, Riyad Mahrez. A player I really like, he doesn't have much pace and maybe he doesn't do enough work going back which is why he doesn't perhaps fit at Liverpool. But for Arsenal, if he's going to have freedom, if they're going to have a four-man midfield behind him and three at the back and he's got some freedom to play in behind the striker, I think he'll be perfect for them. And potentially the biggest transfer of the summer could be Everton's Romelu Lukaku to Chelsea. The Telegraph have said that Antonio Conte wants the Blues to sign him even if it costs £100 million. The Premier League champions former captain John Terry today joined Aston Villa on a free. So there we have it, it's been another day of Naby Keita news for Liverpool fans it looks like he wants to move to Anfield it's really gaining some momentum now over the last few days I'm hopeful that this can be sorted out in the next week or two and we'll have a new number eight on our hands and a new club record signing and just a boss midfielder someone that could really fire Liverpool to the Premier League title let me know in the comments how you're feeling about the current situation at Liverpool are you happy that Cater looks like he's making progress are you happy that Andrew Robertson looks like he's going to be the new left back and how do you feel about the Van Dijk situation are you still confident that we can get him in also should Liverpool have gone in for Michael Keane just joined Everton and should we've also gone for Alexandra Lacazette who's about to join Arsenal 30 million perhaps a bit too much for Michael Keane but Lacazette at 50 million for Arsenal seems like a perfect fit and good value for a top class striker hope you enjoyed the video guys please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff and follow my other socials it's Ben might say on Twitter Instagram Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time